Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. Today, uh, we are asking the question, what do you need to know right now? We have piles of one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Take a moment, figure out which one feels right to you. Um, if you do want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. And if you want a free reading, I'm going to be giving away two as soon as I hit 11,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. So thank you so much, my gorgeous darlings. It's time to move on to pile number one. Great, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> Pile number one, my gorgeous darlings. What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now, Pile number one? We have eight of wands. We have the four of wands. Things are accelerating for you, and they seem to be accelerating towards maybe a successful relationship or they might be accelerating you towards some kind of stability, maybe a uh, home. What does pile number one need to know? We have the king of wands. This is either somebody that is coming into your life that really goes after what they want or this is you actually really taking charge and going after what you want, following your ideas. Um, we have the Three of Wands. So now we have the Three of Wands, the Four of Wands. So the Three of Wands happens when you've made like a decision to move forward and you're just waiting for that decision to pay off. But it does look like it's paying off. It does look like things are accelerating. Um, and either somebody is coming into your life or for some of you, regardless of the gender on the card, you might be actively going after some kind of idea, maybe something creative, maybe something creative. Because the wands are that creativity, that fire, that inspiration. And we have wands, 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 and wands. Action, creativity. What does pile one need to know right now? Ooh, we've got the devil. The devil is obsessions, um, addictions. Um, it is patterns that are unhealthful. Um, things, places we stay, maybe because we're afraid. We have the nine of coins. This is actually, I think, especially significant because we have the four of wands and the nine of coins. The nine of, uh, both are secure. Um, both are abundant. With the nine of coins, this is definitely a card of having confidence standing on your own two feet being in a place where like you are ready for abundance and you are unwilling to and you're unwilling to consider options that will pull you down you're just you know like you're already good so i feel like the more I feel like there is some kind of transition that there. So I think that there is a need to stand up for what you want, hold, hold barriers that matter to you while at the same time going after ideas, artistic things. Um, And we have the Eight of Coins. So we have the Eight of Coins and the Nine of Coins. This, the Eight of Coins is the necessary energy and effort that needs to be put in before you're in a place of, you know, personal security. Um, 
and it can also be the effort that needs to be put in before there is something that is really abundant coming from that but I feel like there's some kind of personal abundance that's coming for you it's just like there's a little bit of maybe still having to put in the necessary work but um, if you have some kind of creative thing or some kind of idea um, it might be worth putting in the actual work to make it a reality and there are some things that you should stand your ground on so let's talk about the devil because the devil can definitely be a block because the devil can keep us stuck in fear and the I just elbowed the deck and the Ten of Wands came out. There's something that maybe needs to be released, something that you might be holding on to that does not serve you anymore. Maybe you're holding on to it because you're afraid or it's upset, uh, or you have an obsession with it, but it isn't healthy for you. We have the Six of Pentacles and good luck. I feel like once you're able to release whatever that is, it is going to cause there to be a lot more generosity and equal give and take in your life. It is going to bring you to some sort of luck. We have the Queen of Hearts and the Stork. Um, for some of you, there there is a possibility of having some kind of children. Um, maybe in some kind of relationship. Um, with the Queen of Cups, I feel like there's an open heart, an ability to be loving and emotionally secure. Um, but at the same time, being person, I feel like there's emotionally open and secure while at the same time only being in a place where you're willing to take things, offers whether they be financial or romantic, that add to your stability that, rather than take it away. Anything else about the Seven of Wands? Seven of Wands. I feel like uh, holding some, like standing up for what matters to you is ultimately going to lead you to do something that maybe you were unable to do before and lead you to some kind of success because we have the six of wands there. We have the bear and we have the 10 of wands yet again. So with the bear, like just because, just because you are perhaps strong enough to hold the burden that you're holding on to doesn't mean that it's actually something that you should be giving your energy to because I think that there is some kind of focus on some kind of future some kind of abundance some kind of but I feel like it's something forward thinking it's so I think that there needs to be like action and energy and there also needs to be releasing things that don't suit you anymore what do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? Naked, dare to bear all. With being some... I, I, I'm getting the impression that you're probably creative in some way. Um, and I feel like there is a vulnerability in, in showing people who you are. And that's how we connect we connect with us and authenticity we have mother earth there is some kind of bigger thing going on some kind of bigger picture i feel like there there is an ask for you to look at what the big picture is how are they feel oh, <laughs> gosh all right uh what do you need to know right now what do you need to know right now intuition this makes a lot of sense because you got wands, wands, wands. And wands are inspiration. Each, per, uh, each 
person's road to the inner Lord it is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. So there is some kind of perhaps need to strip to the, I mean, hold up boundaries where they need to be held. But also, like, strip down to your authenticity and follow, follow deep down what you kind of know. Because I see something very exciting for you in the future. Be relentless. Yeah, I think that there are some things that you're going to have to overcome to get there. There are some things that you're going to have to... Because we had the bridge, we have, like, these things. It's like you're at the precipice. And you're... I feel like you don't know how close you are to where you want to be. Whether it is a different location. Oh, I just looked down and it was 11-11 on the counter for the video. So, what does pile number one need to know? We have, so I've got some self-care cards, stress a relief and self-care. Uh, and I just decided it was a good idea to bring these up. Calming the critical voice. Identify areas of life where you self-criticize. And that makes a lot of sense because our inner critic can very much get in the way of our inner creative. And I feel like there is a lot of creative energy here. And there's a need to ground that creative energy into this reality. And like with Be Relentless, I feel like you're getting these ideas for a reason. So think about where you uh, self-criticize. Sit down, close your eyes, take a moment to reflect on how you see yourself. Identify areas where you self-criticize frequently. Create an affirming statement to calm the criticism like today I love and accept myself no matter what. Reflect on how this positive statement makes you feel. And it's all also okay if that positive statement doesn't feel right to you yet. Some of this is just rebuilding our energy towards what we want. And anything that's new, anything that's different, kind of feels wrong. But I think that there is some kind of inspiration, some intuition that you should be following, that you should be taking action on, like really going after what you want, being relentless towards it. And realize, like, don't let your self-criticism, like, don't let that hold you back. So we have a song. Sorry, there's a little bit of adhesive on here that's making it look a little messed up. Um, so some of you might be musicians. Some of you may be listening to some kind of music is going to help your creative process. We have... I heard uh, the gem, but this is really the pearl. And the pearl is about refinement over time. Like... You might not be exactly there yet, but it may just take a little it just it may just take the the necessary steps to get there. We have the horn of plenty. So like what you're inspired about does have the opportunity to bring you plenty. And we have the letter G. So I hope that this helped you. I really appreciate you and I hope that whatever this is, that you do go for it. Um, because it seems like, it seems like you're not that far away from it. But it does require the work. Um, 
It's like you have the ability to be successful. You have the ability to overcome things that are in your way. Um, and, and some of that is just practically doing the actions. Um, so do your best not to be too self-critical. It's quite possible that you are good enough or you're just a little bit of practice away from being good enough. And I feel like there, there may be that, that particular statement st uh, stood out for like whatever you want, you might just be a little bit of practice away. You might just be a little bit of practice away from where that will be something that is really successful for you. So... If you have a passion for something, if you have an idea for something, I feel like it's it's right now it's time to put in the work and try to ground that into reality. So I hope that this helped you. If you do want a free reading, I'm going to give away two as soon as I hit 11,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and comment if you want to be in the running for that. Uh, if you want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. Thank you again to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. And just in case I didn't say it, because I might not have, <laughs> if you do want to be part of the 11,000 subscriber giveaway, just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment, and I will be giving away two free readings then. Thank you again, my gorgeous angels, and it's time for pile number two. Pile number two, my gorgeous angels. What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? We have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like concentrate on baby steps and maybe communicating some practical things. What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? The Hermit. This might be a time of self-knowledge, self-growth, but I think that it's also because there is a communication of your basic needs. I think that don't, in, in the process of getting to know yourself better, uh, make sure that you are at least communicating like what you need. We have the tower, so things might have gone, are you about to hit the tower? Like, if there are things in your life that are built on a faulty foundation, if there are things that have been rocky, things that you can't seem to shore up no matter what you do, um, those things might fall. Some of you, you might be in this somewhat isolated space because maybe something significant has fallen apart. The Hanged Man. If so, you're at a crossroads. There is some kind of, this is an enlightenment card, this is an enlightenment card, this is enlightenment through self-knowledge, and this is enlightenment through seeing things from a different perspective. So let's talk about the tower. Three of coins. Something may have fallen apart with uh, something you were collaborating with somebody, or it might have, it probably fell apart because something required collaboration. I feel like something required collaboration, and, and that's kind of why it fell apart. Whatever this structure was, it wasn't going to happen without some kind of collaboration or cooperation. Clarity on the Hermit. Ace of Wands. In the time, well, this is also like there is a ink brush. Um, there may be, in this time of contemplation, it might be a good idea because the Ace of Wands is a good idea, but for some of you, it might be a good idea to write. 
Maybe it's just journaling your feelings. Maybe it is creating something um, that you will perhaps share with somebody else at some point. Um, but I feel like just know that whatever fell apart or whatever is going to fall apart because it's actually moving you towards some kind of mastery. So we have enlightenment, we have mastery. Let's talk about the hanged man. The ace of cups. Just know that you have a new emotional beginning, a new creative beginning. And the more you know yourself, the more creativity that you will have. And the more that you can see a different perspective, the more you will have an emotional new beginning. Clarity on the page of pentacles. We have the knight of swords. So now we have swords, wands, pentacles, and cups. Now there is a need to take action on things that are logical or that require some kind of communication. These are both technically communication cards. Swords are all communication cards. Um, pages are all communication cards. So I feel like it's okay if you move forward in baby steps. Um, but I do see a new beginning and I do see real opportunity but it does feel like there's with the tower that's something that is just devastating so I'm sorry for your pain and I'm sorry for whatever that was built up that didn't have that couldn't be built on but I do have like this is creative mastery this is collaboration so Whatever is happening, there are definitely some kind of blessings in this situation. This, and anything that it gets pulled away or catastrophically broken at this time, like, you're going to have a new beginning. Um, but you will have to, like, go inside and, and reframe things for yourself. You are going to have to go inside and make sure that you know yourself. But the universe is trying to bring justice and equilibrium into your life. Again, like maybe if there's things where you can never have justice and equilibrium, some of those things are going to just get taken away from you. But I see there is a moving on to calmer waters. And... Love... The choice to love and be loved to I feel like some uh, something might be get taken away so that you will be open to a better choice and we have the queen of cups and we have the queen of cups on the ace of cups so we have the Queen of Cups as somebody that is emotionally mature and emotionally available, very loving, very kind. And a new beginning. I feel like for some of you, you're going to have a new beginning in love, but it is going to come from something um, just falling apart. Um, the tower often happens because we're, we, because it's just, we're continuing to build on something that can't, that cannot be secure. So I, I see new beginnings. I see the universe equalizing in your favor. But it doesn't mean like this process is going to be extremely happy or easy. This process 
I feel like is going to put you squarely, squarely paying attention to who, to your inner self and squarely having to look at things in a different light. Don't let social media confuse you. You're just where you need to be. Nobody else is living your life. And the people who are on social media, if the things are even authentic at all, that's only a percentage, a highlight reel of their existence. Shine. I feel like... You are going to go through some kind of, you may have already gone through some kind of catastrophic event. You may go through some kind of real difficult transition. Maybe you'll just go inside, see something different and have an epiphany. But what it is going to do is have you truly shine your light. I, I feel like things that are built up, things that are artificial, those are going to kind of come down. True offering. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. So if upcoming there are things that you're just going to have to release so that you can gain something better. So that the universe can give you what you deserve and desire. Let your success speak for you. Whatever is going to happen, the best revenge is a life well lived. Whatever is going to happen, like you're going, to, your success is going to speak for you. And I feel like we have Hathor, which is the mother, goddess of music, joy. So. Just know that you might go through a dark night of the soul, but it is going to move you towards happiness. It is going to move you towards you truly shining your light. Um, and if there's something that you know you need to release and you haven't yet had your catastrophic moment, this is your warning to look at things in a different light and maybe deal with that. But now we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups and the Home. So whatever will be destroyed is going to ultimately be so that you will be in a situation where you are around the right people. Maybe, like, for some of you, this is definitely a love reading. This is a love reading to bring you to somebody that is in spiritual alignment with you, that is just as caring with you, to somebody that can have a strong security with you. But for those of you where it is another portion of your life, this... The universe is going to take away a bad choice for you. They're just going to take it away. They're, it's going to fall apart. It's going to feel bad. But it, it's being taken away so that you can have, like, be released from what doesn't serve you so that the scales can work in your favor so that whether it's romantic or not, that the right people can be in your life. What does Palto need to know? Rats. Um, there may be like some some sneaky people around you. I mean, this might be the cause of this tower. Um, we have the two stars together, one being a cutout of the other. So I feel like there's going to be an opportunity at some kind of partnership. 
that is going to create a lot of balance in your life. We have the the dolphin and the dolphin is intelligence and because the dolphin is in water and water is emotion like there is a little bit of emotional intelligence that you're going to be asked for again because there's going to be some self-reflection and there is going to be a need to see something completely different than how maybe you've seen it in the past we have the letter D and we have daughter so I don't know if there's a child involved why is daughter here we have the wheel of fortune for some of you for some of you if you already have children there's a need to consider like what cycles maybe even generational cycles that you might be still holding on to because those might affect the next generation and again like I feel like some things are going to fall but they're going to fall so I mean some of you might be in a position where you just might break out of some kind of generational curse you have that opportunity but there is this need for this epiphany there and if you don't have the epiphany like some things are just gonna get taken away um, and it's gonna be rough but I feel like there's a lot of whatever dark night of the soul that you might go through this is going to make you more you than maybe you've ever allowed yourself to be you're going to truly shine because what is truly individual about you I feel like you're going to truly be able to honor so you're gonna have some bad luck potentially or you may have already had some bad luck but it's actually leading to the wheel of fortune shifting it's leading to justice it's leading to joy so it's okay to grieve you know loss um something intense and serious happening um but this is definitely like I know that this is something that's going to be hard it's just they I I don't want to say it but they want me to say it it's like this is something that is happening for you um, it's not happening to punish you it's happening to get you in the right place um, it's happening to like it's ultimately happening to make things better but it doesn't mean that it, it's not going to potentially be a painful transition so best of luck I really hope that this helped you thank you so much if you do want a free reading I'm giving away two as soon as I hit um, 11,000 subscribers so be subscribed and comment if you want to be a part of that if you want to book with me my emails in the description right below the timestamps Thanks to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. It all matters. So, my gorgeous pile number three. How... What do you need to know? What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know? We have the Page of Swords. There is an ask for you to be observant right now because there is a choice on how to move forward and this choice has the potential to bring you a lot of abundance and a lot of fruition in like this might bring you to an ideal mate or this might bring you to somebody uh, to your ideal 
your higher self. You have some kind of like decision on how you act, how you move forward. Um, and with the eight of wands, like take action, communicate, like don't get stuck on whether or not you're going to move forward because like what is let's get some clarity on the decision because like there is a decision on how you move forward right now two of cups and i feel like two of cups clarifying the two of wands both being choice cards because all twos are choices but this is to love and be loved, to have your emotional needs met. And so you're going to have a choice on how you move forward that will affect, like, the health of your relationships. Um, and there is a need to, like, be observant, to pay attention. Queen of Cups. Either there is a call for you to be very emotionally open or you're going to be presented with somebody who is very emotionally open, generous, and kind. You're going to be offered, like, this is the star, so wish fulfillment. Like, there's an opportunity for you to have some kind of wish fulfillment, but you do need to make some kind of decision. But healing, wish fulfillment, paying attention, like, feel like, I feel like that if you're just paying attention, like, you're going to see this person. Eight of wands, ten of wands. There is some kind of... There's something that needs to be let go of for the actions, for things to move forward. What is, what is the thing that's being held on to that needs to be let go of? What is this? Strength. So strength is about courage, self-control, I feel like because this is courage and self-control and, you know, being brave, uh, you know, like, this might be something that you already know that you need to release, um, yeah, and I, I heard just do it, um, because what that is is the like you have to choose between holding on to that or being truly emotionally fulfilled knowing that on the other side of that either you're going to be so much more emotionally secure uh mature um and for some of you, you might be really releasing that is what's going to bring you to the person who is not a perfect person because nobody is, but is a person that is ideal for you. Clarity on the star. Clarity on the star. We have now the emperor and the empress in the same row. Next to the two of cups. I feel like there's a, a call to pay attention. Take action and let something go. Because you already, like, the only reason you may be having trouble letting that go is maybe... I 
I feel like whatever this is, it's not compatible for cowardice. And it's understandable to be afraid of some things. But I don't think, like, I, I feel like if there's paying attention, the thing to be afraid of is not going after this. Like, the, the thing to be af Yeah, I feel like... Don't be afraid you won't, like, like, things won't turn out. Be more afraid that, like, the decision just doesn't get made. Whatever it is, maybe, but I have, like, an emperor and an empress. I have the two of cups. So a lot, uh, we have emotional maturity and emotional openness. I feel like... If you're just really just paying attention, what uh, there's something that's somebody that's very emotionally open, very emotionally giving. Like there's, and now on top of the two of cups, the lovers. So, and the ace of cups. The Ace of Cups on top of the Queen of Cups. So there may need to be an offer to somebody who is uh, very emotionally open and loving. Um, but there is love and there is like a decision to take action. So if you if if, if you're just afraid to take action, I think that you should be afraid to not take action. Because this ultimately does seem like there's love, real love with the right person. But it requires a decision. And it, and it requires like really just like paying attention. What do you need to know right now? File number three. You're dope. Trust that. Um, you're awesome. I feel like whoever this is, maybe, maybe like if it's not romantic, even though it really looks like a romantic reading, like putting you in the right positions, getting you to the right choices, things that are going to emotionally give you a new beginning, things that are going to emotionally fulfill you. Um, and you're dope. Trust that. Like, you deserve to have that happen for you. And I don't think that you're going to be left, you know, like, it's, I feel like having the courage is going to lead to the mutuality of the situation. So, I there is a need to do what you already need, know you need to do to have some self-control and strength. And I feel like there is a fear, maybe, like, yeah, because we have the nine of wands, and I feel like maybe things have been rough in the past. But things being rough in the past doesn't mean that your future has to be rough. It means that Maybe there might need to be different decisions made. Or maybe different people invested in or, or something like that. But just because something has been rough doesn't mean that you need to block out a good situation. Yeah, don't block out something that's awesome because something in the past hasn't worked out. Three of Swords. Because if you do that, just because of your own past heartbreak, you won't have... Like, why would you want to stay in perpetual heartbreak when you can have a new beginning in love with somebody who is really emotionally giving and caring? 
that will respect that you're dope and that you're awesome. I feel like I need to pull a self-care card on this one, so. Ooh, two. Cultivating happiness. Finding something to you feel happy about. Think of a happy memory. Bring a big smile to your face. Focus on this memory. Try to really focus on the memory by remembering where you were, who you were with. So, like, if, if there's somebody who brings out a lot of really awesome good times in you, if, if you keep on thinking, it, and keep in mind, this is, you know, somebody where, you know, there wasn't, this person wasn't awful to you. This person was just really emotionally giving and kind to you. Because this isn't about going back to somebody th that is, you know, cruel. Um... But I feel like if, if you're not brave because of heartbreak, then you're, you know, you're missing out on something. And if you miss out on this, like, I feel like regardless, there is going to be some heartbreak. Like, I, I feel like you're not really saving yourself. Um... Sit in this ha so focus on a happy memory. Think about who you were with. Um, sit in that happy moment for as long as you feel the need and feel the love. So whether it's with a particular person or not, but like who, what do you reminisce about? Like it, think about whether somebody brings you a lot of joy or happiness. Pay attention to that. The hamster wheel of life, taking a momentary break from the chaos of life. Take a break right now to stop what you're doing and close your eyes. Step off the hamster wheel for a moment. Give yourself some mental space. Take a deep breath and let it calm you, the breath calm you. Continue breathing for one or two minutes and notice how this makes you feel. I think that there is a chance that you might be just going too fast and maybe going a little bit too unconsciously and there is a moment th that you may need to take a moment and cultivate your happiness cultivate your joy put yourself again if this isn't a specific person like put yourself in like if, if you aren't thinking back to a specific person, you can be thinking about, like, what brings you happiness? Because maybe even just taking action on what brings you happiness is going to bring you farther away from difficult and heartbreaking things and towards things that bring you real joy. Family. Explore your sacred root system. So some of you, maybe there's a need to take a moment and spend time with family. Some of you, like, you may need to, like, be looking out for your found family, for the people who are the right people, who will love you as you deserve to be loved. So I feel like don't, especially since Mother Earth has come out, don't get so focused on the small stuff that you miss out on the really big stuff. Small gestures can be a bigger deal than you know. I feel like there might be a focus on somebody that gives a lot of small caring gestures. Um, the universe might be asking you to refocus a little bit on this person. Or even on, like, being a version of this person. Like, we all get lost in the realities of life. Because life is a lot. Um, but we have Aries. So there is maybe a call to some kind of action. Um, we have the core issue. Again, we have things like family, but like some of you, like maybe you're just needing to spend time with people who who love you. Um, 
Um, we have Smile. Yeah, I feel like there is maybe a need to, despite everything that's going on in your life, take a moment for joy and take a moment for happiness. Give yourself a moment to stop for a little bit. Because I think that that's going to help you make more clear decisions. We have the cat. And the cat is... For some of you, like... There maybe is a call to see whether you're actually being really emotionally available to somebody that is, is really emotionally open and available to you. Um, the cat is about also observing whether somebody respects your boundaries. and um, But I feel like... feel like if you don't take a moment you're going to miss something and it's going to be important so just take a moment so you don't just miss something that's really important because I, th I think that there's something that you should be paying attention to that maybe if you don't stop long enough to see it you know it's it's This is a very forest for the trees, like maybe getting lost in all the details, but there's something that's actually really big and significant, maybe bigger than yourself, that there's a desire to, that there should, that maybe there's a need to pay attention to. We also have the letter G. So, if you have somebody that's been particularly loving and caring in your life, I feel like there's maybe a moment to make sure that you're investing in that relationship. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean that this is a romantic relationship. For a lot of you, this actually is a romantic relationship. But um, for some of you, maybe this is like reconnecting with family members. For some of you, this might be reconnecting with somebody who treated you like family, whether or not they were family or not. Um, but I feel like there's, there's a need for emotional reconnection in this one, or, you know, even just dis making some kind of decision on how you move forward that's going to really lead to good relationships in your life. So, take a moment and think about how you're showing up in, in your relationships, whether it is romantic, whether it is family, whether it is friends. Because, and if you've got some hang-ups, it's understandable life is difficult, but don't let your hang-ups keep you from really having happiness and joy. Because a new beginning and happiness and joy is available to you. Loving relationships is available to you. And, and despite whatever you're doing, like, this, these are, I feel like the universe is really trying to get you to focus on that. So I hope that that helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm going to give away two as soon as I hit 11,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. I want to say thank you again to everybody who likes, shares, subscribes, comments, and books readings. If you do want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. That being said, it's time for the gorgeous pile four. Pile number four, my gorgeous angels. What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now, pile number four? What? Ooh, the moon. You might be dealing with some unknown. You might be dealing with some subconscious things right now. You have the six of pentacles. We have the knight of swords. And we have the empress.
So, the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you may not necessarily see the progress you were making. Um, you might be in a really emotional place right now. Um, you may be dealing with difficult emotions, subconscious feelings. Maybe things that honestly are making you a little bit fearful right now. But I see like... A certain amount of self-actualization and I feel like don't don't be afraid to ask for help because we have the six of Pentacles here this is generosity I feel like you have been a generous person and I feel like don't be afraid to ask for help oh, because you may be experiencing some kind of lack right now. You might be feeling really isolated. But with the six of... Okay, I heard like people have been depending on you. But at some point but there's going to be people you can depend on. I feel like right now might be a little much. Like maybe you will, maybe you feel like you're out in the cold. Maybe you feel like you're in a state of lack. Um, but I think that there's a chance for there to be generosity. I feel like this, as hard as it can be right now, maybe this is a time to ask for help. And we have the moon. Maybe it is emotionally difficult to ask for help. Maybe you fear that if you ask for help, you won't receive it. Clarity on the Knight of Swords. Two of Coins. So right now, things are out of balance and maybe something very practical, like there maybe needs to be a really practical decision. Clarity on the Empress. I also have to say, like, it just came to my mind, so I have to say it. It's like, they're going like, you didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. But I think that despite how evolved you are, I think that you might be, you know, fighting injured. Like, there's something that... There's something more there, so I'm going to get a, another card. The star. Okay, it's like, know that they're, despite having to, like, fight something that's really maybe bringing up a lot of fears, uh, maybe making you feel really alone, um, like, there is healing that is coming. There... Like, you, you haven't suddenly become, you know, a, a not worthy person. Like, you're still, you're still awesome. And healing is going to come, but there's, there's something that is just out of balance right now. And this thing that is out of balance means that it's hard to prioritize. It's hard to figure out what the right choice is. But I see, despite the fear, I see like the six of pentacles, 
Like, I think that right now you cannot see what is going to make you emotionally fulfilled. But I feel like there... I feel like you're at a moment where you may need to lean on some of your relationships. This doesn't necessarily mean romantic relationships. But... I feel like there there's a lack that that happened there's fear um you guys might be something that is like a subconscious trigger from you uh, for you might have really come up and it does make it hard for you like you may just like even though there's going to be an opportunity for healing even though there are there are some good options uh you know like this can keep you very confused clarity on the five of pentacles clarity on the five of pentacles five of wands just feels like you're going through conflict you might have some conflict with yourself maybe you had a loss or a conflict with another person and that other person has like you know brought out a lot of fears let's talk about that seven seven of cups Ooh, yeah all right i think that you need to be a little bit wary right now because your mind might not be completely clear because this is a blindfolded card this is a uh, mystery um, fear I feel like give yourself a chance when you're going through what you're going through there are definitely going to be some people who will be generous with you there are definitely going to be some people who are going to be emotionally open and supporting with you i feel like despite the fact that you are an awesome person and that there is healing um right now you you probably aren't feeling really great um and this is clouding your mind and making it hard to make choices and things being a little bit off balance. So there's an opportunity for things to get practically balanced again. And you, and even if you're going through a hard time, it doesn't mean that you've lost all your progress. Um, but I feel like you're just going through a lot of conflict right now. So, five of swords. <laughs> so, like, either, yeah, I feel like with the five of wands, clarifying the five of wands, and the nine of wands being up there, too, like, you just might be going through a lot of conflict. Some of it might be internally. You might just be going through a lot of conflict with other people. Um, just know that there there is support. I feel like there are people who are going to be generous with you. You are going to be able to restabilize yourself. There is healing, but it's just. I feel like you might just be going after one. Uh, you're. I feel like you're you're having some emotional problems because you're just going through one thing after another. And maybe that is making you feel like. Oh, am I doing something wrong? I don't think you did anything wrong. I feel like you're still moving forward. But right now, what's happening around you is maybe making you question everything. What does Pile 4 need to know? What does Pile 4 need to know? No one owes you anything. Don't wait around for an apology, explanation, or closure you may never receive. Like, you may be dealing with conflict from people, and maybe that person is never going to apologize. 
I don't think, despite maybe feeling like all by yourself, I don't think that you're truly without any connection. And I do think that you're going to have people who are generous with you. And again, that person is showing that they're a generous, loving person. They're showing you that they care. It's not something that they necessarily had to do, but they do because they care. So just know that you will be able to come back to stability. But right now, if you're dealing with a lot of conflict, maybe from a, a lot of different sources, don't be don't wait around for somebody to apologize or make things better and pay attention to the people who are willing to really be there for you who really will be generous with you but i do think because of everything that might be going on it might be hard to be a little bit open right now because we have the nine of wands twice um so it's weird because like i feel like you're really being asked to let somebody help you Yeah. Um, again, like, I feel like there's going to be people who... Maybe you're preoccupied with, you know, something really bad that happened. Um, or people who've, who have treated you badly. Um, but I've, I've got despite what's going on like there's going to be people who are going to be generous there's going to be people who are going to be really loving and emotionally giving and i feel like there's a need for you to maybe lower the guard regarding people who really are here to be generous with you really are being given to you uh, giving to you like you also re deserve to receive yeah but there's something that needs to be released so i feel like there's there's definitely a, a need to you might be in a place of lack. You might be in a place where you're dealing with more than one person who's not on the same page with you, not looking out for you. But like, I, I feel like you do have people who are going to be both receptive and giving regarding your needs, as, and as well as like generous to you. Like, don't be afraid of of leaning on friends leaning on a family lead you know i feel like there's a little bit and i feel like there's a little bit of a resistance to being the one who needs something transition release attachment to what was and prepare for what is to come so things are not difficult because like you're wrong like you're in some kind of significant transition and transitions are difficult even the best ones and i feel like during this transition process maybe you can't see everything but have some faith that there are people who are going to look out for you We've got believe and we have that on the two of cups i think that you might be having like a difficult time with some people but at the same time like don't like there are some people who are going to stand up for you are going to be there for you are going to be generous with you and i i feel like there is maybe a, a 
a need to believe in that. Clearing. A true offering arise as as a true offering arising, it begins easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God's, God's, God's. Such freedom. Oh, so you your life is kind of clearing of situations that are in the way of your wish fulfillment um that doesn't mean that they were things that you were ready to let go of maybe you weren't entirely ready for change and maybe change is giving you a lot of fear, making you feel left out. And you are going to be left out of, of, the, of people's lives that you're not on the same page with, that, that are going to clear out. So we have daughter. Um, what about daughter? This can be about the inner child. This can be a literal child. Um... Ten of Swords. If this is an inner child, like, you may be having to let go of something that was incredibly painful. Maybe it was a betrayal. And I think that it was something that was severe enough that it left some, like, deeper subconscious scarring. So if this is about your... Yeah, you might have had something that happened in childhood. Um, we have the, the comb. So the comb is about beauty. The comb is about... And I do feel like... You're attractive people. Whoever I'm talking to, between that and the Empress. Um, but also, like, make sure that you're, like... Like, this might be a moment for self-care, to make sure that you're, uh, you know, brushing your hair. Uh, <laughs> uh, to make sure that you're, like, give a little bit of time to your appearance. Not because we are entirely our appearance, but that might be another way of bringing you towards feeling better. Um, you know, give yourself a chance to, you know, make sure you're brushing your hair, make sure you're maybe dressing in a way that makes you feel good about yourself. Um, it seems to be here. We have Peacock as well, because Peacock can also be about, um, attractiveness, beauty. Um, it can be arrogance as well, but I'm not really feeling that aspect. I feel like... Regardless of a lot of what's going on, like, I feel like don't, don't be afraid of taking care of your body. Don't be afraid of taking care of your appearance. Um, as I dropped the entire deck and only the Hierophant moved over. Um, don't, like, the Hierophant can be, like, an, a, a a feeling like you might be judged. I, I feel like don't don't worry about that. Um, maybe also because since the Two of Cups came out twice, like there's maybe going to be an opportunity for something where you were going to love and be loved. Maybe there's an aspect of showing, you know, who you would want to represent. So since the Hierophant came out, I'm going to clarify that. Six of Pentacles. So. It looks like you're in an emotionally difficult place. But there is going to be some... There are going to be people that show up for you. And there are going to be people who are generous with you. And even if you're going to... Even if you feel a little bit defensive about this, I think that you should let your let other people give to you. 
because that's part of what needs I feel like there's a need to let people give stuff to you let this doesn't mean that when you can carry your uh, carry the whole load by yourself that you shouldn't but water focusing on your thoughts spend some time near water and watch it water can have a relaxing meditative quality and help us quiet our mind and visit the beach a river a lake or a creek and notice the movement and sound of flow of water look at google maps and you might be uh, surprised at the bodies of water nearby which you didn't even know existed i i feel like water is about transition and change water is about I mean, Bruce Lee said, be like water, be, because water over time will cut out a valley. Water is powerful and it is adaptable. And I feel like you're going through a transition. I feel like there are things that are just being cleared out of your life. Water is a cleansing thing. So spend some time, be around bodies of water, but also allow yourself to adapt, to adjust. Even adjust, even if adjusting means taking help. Because I do think that that's actually going to be really important for you right now. So know that things are changing, things are clearing out. I heard, uh, you know, things are going to like, it's not always going to be so difficult. And, you know, if you have been in, generous and giving and loving in your life you at some points in your life deserve to be held up to may none of your pleasures come with an ounce of guilt don't be guilty about leaning on people for emotional support don't be guilty uh, on um, letting people give things to you so I I've, I feel like you're having a rough time because you're going through a pretty significant transition and now a lot of things don't make sense anymore but know that things are clearing up know that things are changing and make sure that you're being adaptable enough to that change. Anything else? So I hope that this helps you. I deeply appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you do want to book with me, my email's in the description right below the time stamps. Um, and thank you. Uh, if you want to book with me, uh, uh, if you want a free reading, I'm going to give away too as soon as I hit 11,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and commented if you want to be a part of that. Thank you again.